Hello everyone, welcome to Galaxy Technologies. In this video, I am going to show you how to enable EBS snapshot backup through Lambda function. And you also automate snapshot backup to execute every day by using CloudWatch. To demonstrate this example, I have created three EC2 instances. And uh, EC2 instance, first EC2 instance is attached with the three volumes. Out of three, one is root volume, of course. And server two also have one volume. Server three have one volume. So for this demonstration, I'm going to use Lambda function, which is written in Python go to free. Lambda function is already updated in my GitHub account. I'm going to share this link in the description of this video. You can use same for your environment to create or demonstrate same lab. And here, this Lambda function is going to work in such a way that wherever it finds a backup tag to EC2 instance, it takes snapshot backup of all the EBS volumes which are attached to that particular EC2 instance. So you need to add this tag to your EC2 instances if you want to backup backend EBS volume. If we go back to our EC2 instances, server one and the tags if you see i haven't added any backup tag so if i execute this lambda function by using this script it doesn't work so i don't do anything let me take it this lambda function and i will sorry let me take the code and i will create a lambda function first this lambda function name i'm going to give ebs backup and it has written in Python 2.7. And to access your EBS volumes from Lambda, you should have a role. So I already created a role called backup role. This view access to, to access your EC2 instance EBS volumes under EC2 instance service. And create this function. Once your function has been created, you can give code a little bit, you need to scroll down here. It's still loading since my internet is bit slow. Yeah. Here I'm going to give my code. Once you have given code, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see how much memory you can specify. I hope you know the about Lambda function. So memory can be varied from 128 GB to, sorry, 128 MB to, 3008 earlier it was only 1.5 GB itself and this will vary from 1 second to 5 minutes I'm going to give 5 seconds to execute this one and uh, I'm going to save it now what I have done I have created a lambda function and this lambda function will execute on the EC2 instances which have the tag called the backup but if we see our EC2 instances are not yet added any backup tag. So out of three, none of these have the tag called the backup. Let me test this function to see how many instances can be backed up by using this one. And if we see execution, you can clearly see that found zero instances that needs to be backed up. Why? Because none of these EC2 instances are having it backup tag. So to test it one more time, I'm going to our EC2 instances add a tag called backup. I'm going to add backup. B may be caps are small. And value, it is not really considered. It may be anything. And uh, server to I'm going to add backup and uh, so if you see here I have added backup tab for <coughs> excuse me server one and server two and uh, I haven't added any tag to my server three so if I execute my lambda function it is going to take the snapshot backups of only server one and server two EBS volumes so as I shown you earlier server one having three volumes and server two having 
only one volume total it has to back up four volume let me re-execute this lambda function this time and we'll see what is the output and you can see here found the two instances that needs to be back up and uh, it has found that this is the instance id is 1428811 this is 142 f 3813 3818 right and it has not taken a backup and if you go back to your snapshot yeah just to refresh it you can see here it is 954 and the 954 is just created it is about to come that is how you can create a lambda function to execute your lambda function manually if you want to do automate the same thing then you can use CloudWatch events. In the CloudWatch events, you need to create an event name. So I'm going to use the rule name, create a new rule. I can specify it as a EBS scheduler. And same I can do. And its expression should be something like this. You need to give as a current uh, format and uh, if you see this expression it is going to execute at 17 hours monday to friday and uh, make sure that this timing has been converted into the utc time if you are executing uh, again that you want to execute this lambda function at 12 o'clock at ist you should convert ist time into utc then only you can do it right and not scheduling this job and with that, I'm concluding this dem demonstration. Hope it is going to be helpful for you. And if you have any questions, you can comment us. And uh, please don't forget to like us. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can able to see more demonstrations like this. Thank you. And uh, see you in next video.